Hi again, everybody. This video is sponsored by Contribution from Anonymous, and here is their story. Hey, Ali, here's a little note for me. I don't want to throw him too much energy, though, but me, you are obsessed with Ali because he is so amazing and talented. Maybe in your next life, you will find your talent. Ali was born to help and inspire others. His charisma must be so difficult for you. Ali, one day your daughter is going to see, know how amazing you are. Sure, he does. It's tricky right now. You've always been available, and your videos prove everything. Also, also, Ali, you're making a huge difference. The play is the same for all us NARC families. The script just changes. Mead is a classic character. It doesn't matter what age, language, or gender. You are presenting to the world everyone's story, which is so predictable, and that is part of why you are so successful. Also, Ali, I predict, predict a big success in the expose of narcissism and anything dark and ugly, especially after this year's election. You fit right into where we are headed as a society exposing the truth. All of the cockroaches are going to scatter. Next, I have never... I have never found a therapist before because normally they don't work, but I got a really good one a week ago. On our first meeting, she not only validated but reinforced my no contact with my entire family and all people connected with them. I barely had to tell her much and her eyes were popping out. She understands the NARC family dynamic. Every time I get more permission to keep my back turned to those people, it just solidifies my happiness. How sad and interesting it is that not only do we prosper from how badly our own families treated us, but it's true. There is a direct, direct correlation between the distance I put toward my family and my outward success. I have noticed in the last few years that there was a block, and I still couldn't see it. Regarding part of my career in the public eye, I realized again in therapy how much I was taught to hide. But like you, Ollie, I was born to shine, no matter how hard I try to disappear. That's just not in the cards. Getting rid of my entire family and their sickness was the last piece for me to own this place in, in my place in this world and not feel like a flawed or defunct person with some hidden issues that I couldn't put my finger on. I think we will all relate to that. Getting rid of these people, walking away from the stupid money that might come when they die, etc. Really important. We won't just survive, but we will thrive. A few random things from lately. I have been no contact for almost a year now. My drunky borderline narc mom has been sending her flying monkeys out on my social media pretending to support me. Obviously, it's a matter of time after they think they have groomed me before they reach out with some sob story about how much my mom is hurting. Not gonna happen. They will be banned from my stuff. My controlling, manipulative father recently ruined the only family connection I had left. He brainwashed his own elderly mother who loved me, telling her God knows what. Now we don't communicate. She thinks I made her golden child suffer. I don't know. I don't know, but she was pretty normal. The one and only, the only one in the entire family. That's not my problem, though. I believe in karma. When she dies, she will have no one left to control through me since he can't control me and it kills him. Oh, also, I am walking away from a million dollar and million dollars inheritance, which he held over my head for years, even while I was homeless and couldn't eat. A few random facts. Sorry about how random this email is, but I just wanted to list some random facts about my past abuse and things they did. Gaslighted to the max would literally say and do things and five minutes later say it never happened. Also, really weird manipulation, like scary psychotic manipulation. Most of it has been unconscious. When I was young, my mom insisted on inspecting my vagina instead of taking me to the dock. This happened once or twice. Lots of hitting by both parents. Never knew why or what. Many times my dad chased me, little girl, the look of horror in his eyes and would beat me. Pulled out of bed by my hair in the middle of the night to wash dishes. Oh, my mother loved to hit me in my sleep and pull me out of bed for something or other. It's traumatizing. Do you realize that's how they train soldiers to go fucking kill in a war? 
Think about that. That's how militaries train soldiers to kill. They're training them to kill. They're training them to obey. They're training them. They're breaking them down and building them up again. Think about that. Think about that. Now think about doing that to a fucking child. Pretty sure my mom slept with my boyfriend when I was in my 20s. So many mind games, so many. I was homeless. Each parent had a three to five bedroom homes with 10 plus rooms each, but I wasn't allowed to live there for so many reasons. I wasn't allowed to work in college, but I was expected to have my own money, which I did, and so I was always poor. I know what that's like, growing up rich but being poor at the same time. Control, control, control. My mom would make sure we could hear her having sex in the middle of the night. I would wake up to that. Affairs my mom had and gaslit me on that. So poisoning after public shaming shoving soap down down my teeth and grinding it and sending me to bed while my friend wasn't allowed to hang out with my with me during a sleepover at my house so she was forced to watch tv with my parents while i was confined to my room when i was nine they shaved my head this was pre Sinead o'connor so there was totally no excuse they did this twice and got rid of my beautiful long hair everyone thought i was a boy and they loved it I was shamed and joked about being the son. My sister had fun long hair, which my mom would style. I was often punished by being confined to a hot car on a summer day as punishment, or locked in a dark room or basement before they went out and wasn't allowed to meet the babysitter. Was locked in a basement for asking for more candy than my mom gave me. They asked my teachers to hold me back in grammar school, even though I was the most advanced student emotional reasons after they started me a year earlier than everyone else in the first place. Basically anything to make me feel inadequate. They would give me things then punish me for it and make me feel awful for having it. This is why I was broke for years until my early 30s when paying my rent on time and eating. And eating was like a Christmas miracle that I still can't believe. They made up lies about me, always have, always will. They tell people I am not well mentally and have called people out of concern. Ha ha. There are probably so many things that happened to me that I forgot. The worst were the insane mind games. Unfortunately, they are educated people who like to hide things. It's like a lifetime movie. I'd prefer it if they were white trash and everything was obvious and everything was obvious to others, but it's not. They know important people important people and totally manipulate everyone into believing they are normal and I am not. Oh well, too bad my career is going is going way public and probably I'll win a Nobel Peace Prize, an Oscar and more. I wonder how crazy I will seem then. I tell all my I tell my tell all book will be the grand finale. But that is way a ways off. That is why I'm anonymous for all. The final explosion will be the best, and the intention is to help so many people. I hope you realize all this happens to us because we are actually being blessed. I'm not trying to sound religious because I'm not, but I believe in karma and destiny. And I know, like us, we were put here at the right time to speak on behalf of others and help them. The best is coming. I'm going to be so good. I hope you can get this these silly circus zoo animals out of your life forever. One day your daughter is going to come running to you with a big smile and she will get you. It will happen. If I could be deceived by such freaks all my years and see so clearly, anyone can. I pray for your continued strength because you're a star and I hope you can feel all the support you have in spirit. P.S. I almost forgot regarding the haircut situation. To this day, they tell me it was my idea. I cried and begged them not to do it. They totally rewrote it. I was also blamed when I was two years old for my sister, my sister's walker crashing down the basement stairs and her getting a concussion. They told her I was, they told, they told her I pushed her 
and that's why she had a hard time in school later. Lots of memories flood back sometimes. These are the tip of the, ice, of, of the ugly iceberg. Cheers. Like I said, I've said this in an earlier video, my mother used to cut my hair herself. She didn't know what the fuck she was doing, but she would cut it. And then when I called her on it years later, she said I used to beg her to cut my hair. I didn't want her touching my head. The gaslighting of the narcissist knows no bounds and has no shame. They will do something to you, say something to you, and you can call them on it two minutes later. And they're already gaslighting you about it. Remember, it's never too soon or too late for the narcissist to start gaslighting you. And that'll make you even crazier. When they said something, and then two minutes later... They gaslight you and say they didn't fucking say it. What do you do then? And it happens repeatedly. And people back them up and then you think you're fucking crazy. And you're not. All because it's never too soon or too late for the narcissist to gaslight you after a lie. Period. After you catch them or after you call them on something. Never too soon or too late. I wish you all the success with your career. Thank you so much for your contribution and your story. And, you know, this is, I know you've donated before as well. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you to everybody watching. Please leave any opinions or advice in the comment section below. And again, if you want your story read on the channel, you have a narcissist you'd like to expose or a topic you'd like me to cover, you know what to do with the PayPal and my email links in the description box. I'll have the video right back to you. Zolly Matthews, thanks for watching. See you all again soon. Bye, everyone.